I love what you guys are doing. The new song is Straight Fire. Rez, I assume these evil Luciferian self-appointed global elites trying to take over the world served as your inspiration to write this song. But tell us more about the creative process. How did you come up with this, Jim? Yeah, um, a lot of people over the last few years were just kept bringing up George Orwell, 1984. And I was like, wow, no artist really conquered that subject. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I hit up Tommy right away and uh, it kind of came to fruition and, it, and we made it happen. So I hope we did it justice. That's awesome. I certainly think you guys did. It's such a great song. And as you just mentioned, so few people touch on this specific subject. I mean, we hear about the MAGA rappers and whatnot, but I think this is such an important issue that is probably the biggest issue facing the world today and not enough people are shedding light on it. Uh, Tommy, how did you get in on the action here? Have you guys worked together on music previously or is this the first time working together? Uh, well, this is the first time me and Rez have worked together. We've been talking for like two years, I feel like, mm -hmm. you know, and Allison, you know, you've been around forever and, you know, there's a whole group of artists, you know, who are all kind of in this anti-woke realm and, and pro-America uh, patriotic realm. And so I had known Rez from doing work with Jimmy Levy and he hit me up and was like, hey, I got, I got the song. And I was like, send it over. Uh, and it's, it's, you know, it's completely in line with all the things that I've been talking about for like four or five years. And uh, I think it, I think it was a banger and, a, and a, yeah, I'm, I'm stoked. I think it's gonna be the first of a few more yeah. uh, collaborations. <laughs> Oh, I was yeah. going to say, I sure hope so, because you guys are definitely a great duo. You guys knocked it out of the park with this song, and I hope mm -hmm. you have more planned for us in the near future. Uh, now, I know you both have been ferociously bold and courageous in speaking out against all of the incessant nonsense. Uh, Rez, have you always been aware of this agenda that's being forced upon us? When was your wake-up call, so to speak? Yes, I've always questioned authority in a respectful manner, right? I always really never took things at face value, but I kind of just got along with the get along like most of my life, even when I was in you know, Hollywood and science and label, mm -hmm. similar to Tommy or anybody else, right? You didn't really want to rock the boat, but um, just the last few years in general uh, with lockdowns and mandates and not being able to see your own family and, and religious institutions being shut down, that was like the, edge of the, uh, the end of the line for me. You know, I've never been radical or extreme or I've never even been overly political, but like the last few years really kind of pushed me to the edge of like, okay, enough is enough. Yeah, absolutely. I think yourself along with so many others have just been pushed to that edge. I mean, our boundaries were truly tested throughout the lockdowns and now we're seeing this encroaching uh, government takeover, which is just terrifying. And I think it's so important that we continue to raise awareness, especially through things like culture and music. Uh, Tommy, I know you've also been so bold in speaking out. You have an incredibly inspiring story. It's almost like something out of a movie. Uh, we don't have time for the whole thing today, but give us a rundown of what inspired you to start speaking out politically. Um, well, I think, you know, just in general, the American dream. You know, most people who follow my career know that I, had, I got canceled from the music industry. I sued my record label. You know, they, they basically kicked me out for supporting Trump in 2020. Uh, it wasn't the first time I voted for him. And it was a sore subject. And uh, I just don't, that's not the country that I grew up in. It's not the, the country that my father fought in the Vietnam War to protect our constitutional rights. My grandfather fought in World War II. I come from a long line of men of service to this country. Uh, and I had no problem speaking out. And I think there's a major issue with the liberal elitists of Hollywood, especially when, when a black man stands up and says, what you guys are doing is wrong, you know? And I was one of the first people to speak out against BLM uh, in June of 2020, when I basically uncovered that the entire organization was owned by Act Blue and George Soros and that they were using the death of George Floyd to funnel money into their political campaigns for the left. Yeah. Yeah, I know you were so inspiring throughout all of that and so uh, fearless in doing so. I was actually following you before all of the political nonsense and uh, you helped wake me up. So I have to say thank you for that. Uh, I really appreciate all of the work you have done throughout all of this. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.